Hey people, this is Dr. Dirtak. <laughs> I have a prescription for you, WMCTRL. Yeah, and I have sh I showed you this in, in a very early video, I think, in the Let's Linux series, or not me, the Budrich uh, showed you. Uh, it's, it's a little command line program that you can use to get information first and foremost. You can also control windows, you can like activate and you can change uh, resize windows and stuff but it doesn't work perfect with i3 to control it like this like that but it's uh, really good to just get some some uh, information about the windows and the good the best thing is that it's uh, um, it works on any window manager and desktop environment so so this is not bound to i3 I have also my own i3 get that you can uh, uh, get the information f uh, about a window uh, just running it like this, it will get the current container ID. It will get some some i3 specific data that you don't get from this. But what I'm going to show you in this video, we, we don't uh, need any i3 functionality really. Um, and the thing I wanted to show you was that it can be very, very useful to uh, uh, get uh, the window title and, and use the window title of certain windows some, sometimes. For example, we have a couple of windows here, SXIV, it's this uh, window uh, viewing window here. In the uh, title, we have the name of the currently open file. That you, you could use that information to manipulate that uh, or use that file somehow. We have the Thunar uh, instances here, I have several, uh, and they contain the currently open directory. That can also be useful, you will soon see how I uh, make use of this. And the example I'm going to use is this Sublime window, which have the currently open file in the title. So let's start by, I have prepared here, we can see that the open file is actually a, a script called get title, but it's just a blank file right now. So if I would, uh, whoops, uh, god damn it, uh, uh, enter here, wmctrlx, uh, and then... If we would run this get title here now, we should get the same result, just this list of windows. Uh, and and the, the, the information we want to isolate here from all this output is the file name of in this sublime text window here. So we can start by just copying this whole line here, so we can work with it a bit. Um, and the best way to identify windows here, uh, when you're not exactly know, know what you're looking for, we just know that we want a sublime window. Then we got this third column here, uh, contains the instance name and the class uh, name of the window. And the instance name, I have actually changed this, this is not the default sublime uh, uh, instance name, but this is the default sublime text uh, class name. So uh, if we just, uh, let's do this, we pipe this to uh, awk, I've created a snippet for, for orcs since I do this all the time. Um, and uh, the class name, sublime text with a capital S and uh, an underscore is the class name. So if the third column uh, uh, ends with this sublime text, and we need to put this in quotes could also put it within uh, forward slashes. Then we know we have found uh, uh, the right line and then we can print that line. So if we test the script now, now it only prints that line because that's the only line that matches this uh, uh, search pattern you can uh, think of this as. Often uh, awk contains of, of, of this uh, syntax. First a pattern if the pattern is found, it, it, it uh, executes the action within these braces. Okay, um, and then we wanted this, uh, the, the file name here. And the last uh, column in the output of all windows is the title. And as you can see, uh, many of the tit titles have uh, spaces and stuff in them, so we cannot just say column number 5 here, because that wouldn't give us the full... Uh, the full uh, file name if uh, the file name contains spaces which it uh, does sometimes so we have to do some some special stuff here 
but we can remove all of these the other columns the this 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 and this so one two three and four we could do that in different ways one way could be this to substitute um, everything well, let's do this uh, put it in quotes instead uh, everything this is a regular expression meaning any character and zero or more occurrences of any character so this is basically a, a wildcard for anything uh, up until it finds uh, column number one two three four and then there's also a space here between the fourth and the fifth column that we also want to remove so we just enter a empty space like this we substitute that with nothing and the the locate the, the third argument is uh, where you want to do this substitution which is dollar zero which is the current line uh, but that is also the default so we could leave that out and, and this will have the same effect and if i would do a print here now and execute this now now it only prints the sublime text title um, so let's remove this but the title um, doesn't only contain the file name it also contains this sublime text uh, text here if you have an unregistered version it would say something like this also Um, so we want to remove this part first so let's do a new substitution here we can copy this if you have the unregistered version you could add that as well here then and I put a dollar sign to be sure to, to remove from the end or start the uh, search from the end of the line we could also do this but that's not perfect but if we do a wildcard here then it would also remove this unregistered but this would also if uh, sub this exact text would be somewhere else in the title here for example uh, here if it would say but then it have to be exact this space dash space sublime text capital then it would remove from there so this is not perfect to enter this wildcard it's almost better to write this unregistered we could do this actually um, I think let's see here now how good my uh, or can we do this maybe you see this regular expressions it's something that I'm constantly learning uh, I'm not 100% fluid in it but I'm getting better and better um, there now I think I have created a group here that consists of this a space parenthesis and anything between these parentheses and then a star meaning uh, uh, zero or more occurrences of this will also get removed but in my since i have a re registered version uh, this doesn't exist so it's a zero occurrence but that will still match here because star matches zero or more occurrences of the previous character or group and a group you get a group when you put it within parentheses like this maybe you learned something maybe i uh, did the did it wrong whatever let's try it have to save it also yeah now it removed uh, sublime text and I think it would have worked with with the unregistered text as well okay uh, and the next part here that is um, uh, the project name now I am in a project called shell uh, but um, if I change here to sublime for example and do get title now we can see that it says sublime text or sublime instead because that's the name of this project and here now we have a file with spaces and parentheses inside of it and that can be good to, to test with later to see that everything is working um, 
we could also uh, sometimes you uh, you don't have a, a project open I close this project project now with a key binding I have defined myself alt W uh, and then just open some random file here now if I do get title now we can see that we have uh, what we are looking for the, the just uh, the file name because this uh, title doesn't have a project name inside of it but sometimes also if, if a file is not saved you can see it here in the title bar here in polybar that then a, a little dot appears and then it looks like this and we don't want this we want just a clean uh, uh, title so we have to take this uh, dot and project into account here when we are writing the script let's go ah this always happens let's do this let's do this let's do this there uh, yeah you you get you can get weird results when you uh, uh, switch projects with a blank workspace that uh, i always uh, i'm always inside of a project uh, that's something I have learned the hard way. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Remove project if it exists, if, if there is a project. So first we, we check if, if uh, uh, a project is open. And that's easy. Uh, uh, now the, the output looks like this. And we are inside of a project. And even if the file is dirty, not saved, it looks like this. But both this, we can see that it's a project because the last field uh, uh, is within parentheses and the last character is a closing parenthesis. So that, that, that's the test I do to, to see if we are in a project or not. If, uh, oops, there, There. And this means I, I have to put the uh, parentheses within brackets because parentheses is a special character in uh, regular expressions. So and the dollar means the end of, of the of the string or the line or this what we are searching in by default dollar zero. That's why I don't have to specify anything. So if the last character is a parenthesis, then we know we are in a project here. And then we can uh, remove that project. And that is now uh, the last field of dollar uh, zero, meaning that it is uh, this is uh, 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 equal to the project. NF means number of fields. And right now there are one, two, three number of fields in this dollar uh, zero now after we have cleaned it like this. So dollar nf, uh, so nf that is three, and dollar nf is the value of three. So here we could write either nf or three, but since we don't know if there is spaces in in the file name, it's much safer to use nf. Then you will always get the last field. Uh, and here we just set nf to nothing. Uh, but if we do so, it might look okay here now. But we actually have a trailing space. Don't know if it's super visible here, but we, we have a trailing space because we just removed the field and not the space before. So uh, we can trim trailing spaces with uh, a sub there's probably better ways to do this but this works um, you can write a, a space the best uh, way is to to use this uh, character group uh, that's called space and you write it like this and this can mean any kind of space white sp uh, tabs and also new lines i think and then you can put a star meaning all white space but all only from the end of the line. Replace that with nothing. Maybe we can actually leave this out also. Maybe that's also default. Wh whatever. Um, now, if we try this, now it just prints. Yeah, now we don't have, have the new line. But now we still have the problem if it would be uh, dirty, meaning it's not saved. That's what it's called in, in Sublime uh, lingo, at least. They call uh, a dirty tab sometimes, you might see. That means that the tab is not saved. 
and then it looks like this. So now we do a similar check and see if the last character is this dot or not. You can paste it in here. <coughs> this is almost exactly the same as this. Uh, but instead of a parenthesis here, and this dot, we don't need uh, to put that within brackets because it have no special meaning. If that is the last character, blank the last field, meaning remove the dot, and remove uh, any white space. So now it should work even if uh, it's uh, saved or not saved. Now it isn't saved, we can see the dot here but we still only get the title. And it should also, let's test it on that Sublime project with a file with the parentheses and spaces and stuff inside of the file name to see that it, yeah, perfect. Okay, now we are almost uh, done here. Mm. Last thing we need, uh, or we should do, is replace this uh, tilde here with the uh, expanded uh, home folder. But that we do, I don't think we have access, or maybe there is a way to access uh, environment variable inside awk. But we can uh, just as well do this outside awk in our bash script here. We will need to do some bash things anyways. So what we will do is save this output. Output uh, We can call it this file is equal to, uh, put it in quotes, dollar parenthesis put this whole thing here inside one of these uh, you get this right basically it looks like this this file uh, because when you have parentheses like this then you can add like new lines and you can write almost like a, a script within them but it's uh, like this is what we have now but with all this stuff inside of the parentheses so this file uh, now contains the output of this awk statement. We can try it again here now. And now we get nothing because now we only uh, add this to a, to a variable. But then we could of course print uh, this file. And it works. Okay, now we got this file. But what's... Uh, 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 what? The thing that I use this most for is to actually get the directory and not uh, the file. And also here, here, here we could do this expansion. First we could do a check to see if, if, um, if uh, we got any file at all. If we don't then uh, either Sublime is not open or no file is open or something. could actually do an if here. Uh, then. Uh, so n here it means if this variable contains any value and if it does then we can expand the tilde by setting this file to let's put it, I, 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 I have started using quotes everywhere because it's just to be safe probably you don't need it especially when you put it in brace like this but or maybe you do actually whatever use quotes and you're always safe uh, Replace tilde with home in this file and set that as a new value to this file. And then we can echo that. Oops. And then we could do a phi here to close this. And now it prints the full path and not without the tilde. All right. Um, Now, um, as I said, I, I, I like to use this mostly to get the directory, but sometimes maybe you want to get the file. So uh, let's add a command line switch uh, to this script. I'm, I have created a, a snippet for that I call gops. Um, we could actually remove these two And just add what is this? Four case feels like I have messed this up. Yeah, case option. Should say that. Uh, 
and get opts really quick recap here um, it, it, it's a command that you can use to if you want to add uh, simple command line options single uh, short options here we are only uh, D is the only allowed uh, option in this list if we wanted more options we could just uh, if we wanted a also as a allowed uh, command line option or flag we could just write it like this then we do a, a then it will loop each of these options that are entered on the command line uh, and inside this case clause it will see if it finds any of them here if it finds d then we can set uh, a variable that we call print d to one and then you have to close each uh, case uh, thing with a double semicolon <clears throat> so now here we can do uh, another if or we could just simply do a test without an if and see if uh, print dear we could actually do this as an ar uh, arithmetic te test that's even better because then we don't need the dollar sign or any spaces is print dear is equal to one uh, then we print do this then we echo this file but we remove everything from the last slash meaning that it will print the directory we could also use like uh, the base d command here or something but let's do this otherwise we print the file name so now get title prints the title get title with the d option now it only prints the directory okay what was all this uh, uh, about really what what is this useful for well let me show you this is actually very very cool now I am in the home folder here, for example, and I have this uh, file open here. If I want to enter the directory uh, for this uh, uh, file, I could just now do cd and then uh, get the output of get title dash d. And then it will cd into that directory immediately. And uh, I have actually set up an alias for this in my uh, own environment. Uh, you can do that by alias and then just uh, the name of the alias. Let's call it cd sub for cd sublime or whatever. Uh, equal then single quotes and then you enter the command cd space double quote dollar parenthesis get title dash d closing parenthesis, double quote, single quote. So this whole command is within single quotes here. You can hit enter. Now we should have an alias here called cd sub. And if I do that, it enters uh, any uh, folder that's open in Sublime. We can open any file here now and it will immediately go to that directory. This is so useful, very, very useful. And I set this up myself just a week or two ago and this uh, I have already used it probably 20, 50, 100 times or something. I can't believe I haven't done this uh, before. And there are other programs that take uh, a, a directory. For example, Thunar. You could do the same thing here. Uh, get title D. And now it will open Thunar with the current uh, uh, sub uh, that contains the currently open file in sublime we could show choose any file do the same command and it will open through the, you, you see this is very 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 useful i have even bound this to a key combination in i3 so control uh, super e opens the directory and it puts it in in this uh, sidebar thing here at the correct in the correct container just by adding some simple window rules this this is incredibly uh, 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 useful and also very simple and it should work with any window manager and any more or less any file manager as long as you can see the file name in the title and i hope i, I hope i gave you some ideas here um, i wanted to do this video because i have um, 
made a script here in Budlime that I want to sh uh, make a video about the next video. Or not exactly this, but you you need to understand what this this tits here. It, it it's like a more advanced version of the script I just wrote here now. That also it, it saves like the project and and the, some other information about Sublime here that you can use. So I think that is uh, basically what I wanted to show you. Maybe really really quick here. Yeah, let's do it. WMCTRL uh, dash LX. This list here, the first column here, that contains the, the window ID of each window. And this can also be very useful uh, to have. But the, there is a problem here, and that is that the window ID is in hexadecimal format. And uh, for example, uh, xdo tool is a uh, pro another command line program that is much better than WMCTRL when you want to manipulate windows like uh, resizing them or renaming classes and stuff which is something I do a lot but you cannot use this hexadecimal format but if you want uh, want hexadecimal uh, transformed to a normal decimal format then you can just put it inside an arithmetic uh, expression like this or oh, maybe we do echo and that will print the decimal value of it and uh, now I don't know which one I took here Let, let's be sure so we take sublime or yeah it was sublime so this is the ID of sublime here and you can use that with for example i3 uh, message uh, then we do id is equal to, and here you can enter this window id. I think this will work now. I'm on slippery eyes here. Title format. Uh, I did it. Maybe. End quote. Let's see if this works. I. <laughs> Ha, it worked almost. Uh, maybe it's something with the comma here. Yeah, yeah, the comma is, is a bit sensitive, I guess. Uh, but as you can see, we changed the title format of Sublime here by using this window ID. And uh, if you know what you're doing, you can uh, change this get title script that we worked on to also obtain that uh, information. Okay, that's all from me, Dr. Dirtac, for this time. I have some more Dirtacs in my bag of tricks that I will show you during, sometimes, in between Budridge rambling uh, videos. Thank you for listening. Hope this uh, at least gives you some inspiration and ideas. I promise you, this is very, very useful. Just this CD. I have it to CDS. I think that's logical. CD sublime, but maybe CDE or whatever. Very, very ha handy. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.